grows ever larger in the summer sky. As it draws closer, animals begin to panic. Things are starting to heat up in the atmosphere. This triggers intense electrical storms throughout the planet. These storms won't be there for much longer. Five minutes to impact. The sky is now illuminated by the glowing orb as it draws closer. The asteroid begins to heat up as it comes into contact with our atmosphere. The dinosaurs are starting to cook. The temperatures begin to rise very quickly as this enormous rock begins to heat up. The plants and trees beneath it begin to smoke and then spontaneously combust under its intense heat. The world is about to catch fire. One minute to impact. Most of the Earth's forests are now engulfed in flames. The water in lakes and rivers begins to boil. With the sound of a thousand freight trains, the giant asteroid bears down on the planet. Its target, the Yucatan Peninsula. The asteroid is so big, as the first part hits the Earth, the rear of the asteroid is still 30,000 feet in the air. That's the height that most commercial airliners fly. With the force of a million nuclear bombs, it explodes. The sound can be heard worldwide. The Earth shudders under the impact. Superheated air expands away from the impact site, faster than the speed of sound. Anything in its wake will vaporize. In Texas, the raptors turn to look towards the explosion. They're blinded by the light and within minutes are vaporized when a wall of wind, fire, and toxins rush past them. What was once a vibrant forest is now a total wasteland. As the wall of wind continues moving away from the strike zone, an enormous plume of fire, smoke, and ash rockets skyward. Within five minutes, the debris from the impact has been thrown over 30,000 feet into the air. Some of the smaller pieces are thrown above our atmosphere, but are pulled back down by the Earth's gravitational pull. The plume of ash and dust begins to fan out across the horizon, carried by the jet streams. Trillions of particles thrown into space begin to re-enter the atmosphere and rain down on Earth. As they re-enter, they burst into flames. The rain of fire begins to ignite the remainder of Earth's biomass. The entire Earth is slowly being engulfed in darkness caused by the smoke and ash. What light remains is being generated by the worldwide forest fires. The Tyrannosaurus family has never faced anything like this before. A wall of superheated dirt and ash engulfs the family. The ash is so hot and caustic, it literally sears their lungs and flesh and cooks them from the inside out. With the death and destruction brought on by the asteroid impact, it's easy to understand why dinosaurs and so many other creatures were wiped from the planet. But one question remained. How could anything survive this event? Although you have death and destruction on a massive scale, millions of plants and animal species still survive. There were places on the Earth that were somewhat shielded from these series of events. Animals that could live underground or could retreat to caves or even to the deep ocean were able to make it through the initial blast. Some birds, reptiles, fish, insects, amphibians, and mammals were all able to find shelter or to be in the right location where they could survive. And it was they who went on to reclaim the planet and spread in numbers, ultimately reclaiming the Earth. All modern life, including man, owes its existence to the Armageddon that unfolded 65 million years ago.